Hey YouTube, welcome back. How's everybody doing? You all know the drill. We're gonna roll through some things and then we can get on with it. Okay, so first things first, make sure you are subscribed. Then hit the little bell so you're notified whenever I upload here. If you are interested in full-length reactions to Veronica Mars or any of the other shows on Darcy's Watching Stuff, you can find those on my Patreon. It's linked down below, along with a link to my main channel, where you should also come hang out. And last but certainly not least, leave a comment down below, but no spoilers. Okay, bye. Last episode was really good. And I'm interested because we are going back in time. Thank you again, editing Darcy. I didn't fuck this up. I thought for sure I'd fuck this up at some points. It's not that hard. It's 9, 11, 10, 12. It's not that hard, but it is that hard. You know what I mean? <laughs> so basically we're doing 10 today. Then we do 12 next week. And then I can just get back into regular accounting and it's going to be a good time. But last episode was good and just that I feel like our main plot stuff is moving forward. Even though I don't know what this forward could mean. We have a new man, a new man on our radar newish i guess just like you know it, it introduced what cameron was it cameron or have i been watching too much big brother we'll see so i have to think though that this episode was is before that technically so i don't think we'll really talk about maybe cameron today but regardless i am excited to see where this goes you know the drill you know the wishes okay nuggets and lily flashbacks that's what I'm putting on my Christmas wish list. So hopefully they're listening, but okay, I'm ready to get into it. Last time I forgot to do a bevy check at the beginning and it, I gasped and I said, it will never happen again. And so bevy check, this might be too hot for me to sip, but uh, whatever, we're going for it. All right, episode 10. And again, I saw the title because I had to scroll back to get to episode 10 and so i'll probably see the title of the next one too but this one says christmas i'm so excited Fuck. previously on veronica mars it's been a year since my best friend lily kane was murdered dad told jake kane that he was sure he was somehow involved in his own daughter's death and let's not forget logan eccles logan oh don't forget these folks pay for all of this Oh, yeah. So he, maybe his family Christmas, I guess. Clarence Weedman, the man who took surveillance photos of me. Clarence. The ones with me framed in a gun sight. You've reached Clarence what did I say? Head of security. Her former lover, dad's nemesis, Jake Kane. <sighs> so much going on. Hopefully we get presents, though. The downside to being an only child? You know all the scary handmade ornaments are yours. <laughs> this concerns me. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, listen, not to pause so quickly, but I love not just Christmas. Okay, you guys are gonna be like, I know Darcy, we know we get it. But I love this like aesthetic of Christmas. You know how everybody has like their own thing? Like my older sister really loves like the blue and whiteness of Christmas. And then my mom is more of like a gold girly. I'm more of a like like multicolored lights aesthetic -y Christmas. I love it all though. I usually decorate in gold and red at my place, but I also don't have a tree regardless. <laughs> I love this style of Christmas. It feels cozy and like nostalgic to me. <laughs> anyway, what's your guys' favorite Christmas aesthetic? I'll try not to talk about Christmas too much. I promise, but it's probably gonna happen. Okay, I'm a fangirl. Whoa, 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 whoa. You gotta put another Padres ornament over there. Just all the ornaments what? on. There are some people who think Christmas is about the birth of Christ and not baseball. Uh, we're all entitled to our own religions, Veronica. <laughs> so what do you want for Christmas? Your love and respect. Mm. Seriously. Oh, it's our favorite part. What the fuck is that? I'm Mr. Christmas. I'm Mr. Sun. I'm Mr. Heat Blister. I'm Nailed Mr. Miser. Hey, whatever I touch. No, you start no. singing, you stop drinking. Oh. You know, you look pretty comfortable with that thing in your mouth. You people can hand roll like nobody's business. <laughs> 500. Call. Cool. Mm, Sean, isn't that ghetto groom? <laughs> Man, where were you when I was playing the metrosexual and lonely season? I was in high school not getting paid a quarter of a million dollars to make out with Selma Blair. Connor. Don't cry now. Selma Blair? Like from Sweetest Thing? Why is he making out with her? 
Oh! So let's see here. There are 42 cards remaining, and I can win with 40 of them. I can win with an ace. Will she be the 10 and give me the straight? Or will I get the high kicker out of my jack? Pins and needle. Just flip the card. But the river is going. This guy likes orange. I respect it. I like orange. Boom! <laughs> I can't believe he beat you with the bear twos! <laughs> Love when that happens. Ooh, no money. No, 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 no. You guys aren't pulling any of that with me. We're gonna fall out. Maybe it was never in, huh? Dude, yes, I rolled was... the money up and put it in the box. You all saw me. Do I have to turn each of you upside down and shake you? Yeah, no, that'd be fun. No, just, no, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> you picked the wrong guy to rip off. Yeah, those two are matching boxers. This is the worst game of strip poker ever. Out. You know this is for a baseball camp, right? It's not like the hot guy camp. I'd be the best rich person. Seriously. Me I'd be too. the perfect combination of frivolous and sensible. Yep. Money is so Same. wasted on the wealthy. I am not screwing around. I didn't take your money. Someone did. They are. There's only like five people in that room. Let's eliminate one by one. You lie down with dogs, you're gonna get fleas. I didn't invite him. I wasn't talking about Weevil. Hey. This kind of concerns you. <laughs> I don't see how. There are a million things Duncan could have written about me that I'd sooner impale myself on a rusty spike than have someone else read. I must get that computer back. Hey. <laughs> see? There you go with that head tilt thing. You know, you think you're all badass, but whenever you need something, it's all, hey. hey. Of course, if I get my five grand, some of those guys will stop losing their stuff. Mysteriously. If you're asking me to the prom again, the answer is still no. I heard you got a card game going on. <laughs> I'd like in on it. My only concern is property values going down if anyone sees you in my house without a leaf blower or a skimmer. Your concern? What if I run into a pack of you white boys, huh? On some clean, well-lit street. I could be bored to death. We don't take food stamps. Ouch, you got me. <laughs> I like how they put the Twilight filter on for flashbacks, you know? Did Logan do it? No. Well, I know for a fact that nobody left the house with the money. He could have hidden it anywhere, and he had an opportunity. A who done it? Hot chick, poolside bikini. Hey, you. Dude, is that your mom? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the nose. <laughs> Duncan was at the window. Do we want to make a prediction? Everyone's a suspect, except for Weevil. Or, no, except for Weevil. I gotta think Duncan, too drunk to pull it off, right? He was, well, no, okay, I think Duncan, and then he's pissed about his laptop, maybe we'll remove Duncan. I think Mr. Orange is too obvious, but then I'm like, Maybe that's the point. He's trying to like be sneaky. And then we've got Mr. Lucky, who got to make out with Selma Blair, and Mr. Tracksuit. See, the, it's, it's tough because I want to say Mr. Tracksuit because he's kind of annoying and was talking about, I didn't get paid however many million to make out, but so then maybe it's the other guy. Oh boy. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We have to make just one prediction. Currently, on my highest suspect list is Tracksuit Man. But I also somehow feel like it's gonna be Mr. Orange. We'll see. We'll see as the clues start rolling in, you know? The money was in that house somewhere. I would have torn the place apart if I didn't think he called the cops. And he'd know all the best hiding spots too, so like, I don't have an appointment. I was hoping you were available. I am. My husband gets a lot of disturbing letters from fans. He's a very handsome man, and people get obsessed. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater, had a wife and couldn't keep her. Can you find her and keep her away from us? I mean, obviously she's crazy. Not necessarily a she. 
I know this goes without saying, but discretion's paramount. Of course, of course. It's, it's been a long time, Keith. Logan's had a tough time with Lily's death. Understandably. Uh, so has Veronica. Understandably. So what is this, like a case? Yeah, like the case <laughs> of the guy who's too lazy to handwrite his journal like every normal person. <laughs> it's a hand cramps. So were you a little surprised that Weevil was even there? As a matter of fact, I was. Hello. You're not Chester. Hey, there's no way in hell I'm letting Weevil walk out of here with our money. Okay, now I feel like they're trying too hard to make me think it's Mr. Orange. When it was in that box? Do you think Logan invited Weevil there to steal his money? Invited him there to steal his money? No. But? Nothing. Pop it up. What info do you have? You got something to say to me, you say it, huh? Did you take the money? I love how moody so Duncan drunk. is. <laughs> but I'm a jackass? Yeah. And I'm over it. What are we breaking up now? Huh? You want your best friend charm back? And I'm fairly certain that the stalker who left the letter inside had sent six previous letters. See, I, just this aesthetic, less pleasing to my eyes. It feels less cozy. It feels more rich, though. Doesn't it? Okay, sorry. I'm gonna go back, because I was so fucking focused on all the red and white. It's very Canadian Christmas. It's like Canada vibes. Is it bad? I'm very concerned that this stalker is escalated to home delivery. You have ten people wandering freely around your house right now. Do you even know them? Of course. <laughs> They're the help. Death laws with pals of Holly. I mean, that sort of thing is perfectly normal. Normal? A little less normal. Good I, carving I was wondering skills, if though. you did Damn. pumpkin carving. <laughs> yes, I'm aware that it's Christmas. I was gonna say wrong holiday. You but... know, I already have a gingerbread house, but thank you. Making a list and checking it twice. <laughs> Is there a side job I should know about? You guys, the side jobs are kinda... Come on. Yes. I wanted to ask you about the game. <laughs> I've been meaning to ask you something. Did your super sleuth kit come with a decoder ring? Never mind, don't care, mush. Mush, maybe you should talk to Connor. Who's that? Larkin? Like Connor Larkin? Look, he's immortal, believe me. It just draws abs on. Is he doing another <laughs> movie with your father? Plus, the guy's got something against me. I only met her in passing. It's not like your people. They don't all know each other. Dude, what's up with that? What? It's like the 10th racist thing you've said. Oh my god, does the <laughs> soapbox come with the SAG card? Carter, you really are like the son Aaron Eccles never had. <laughs> I would be more than happy to question him. <laughs> I have a feeling he's not the easiest person to get to. Yeah, hey, listen, can you get uh, my friend a drive on today? No, Veronica V, as in virgin. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Annoy, tiny blonde one. Annoy like the wind. I know him. I repeat, damn. Too shiny? Uh, no. I don't want to be gross. And I feel sorry for the kid who won, too. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It was real, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Could have been anyone. I think he was a tracksuit guy. There was one guy who left the room with cash. At least I take out my wallet, unlike some cheap ass people. If I didn't know better, Duncan, I think you're speaking ill of me. You enjoy being a tightwad. Yeah, I think it's him. There are plenty of times. Bathroom breaks, beer breaks. Lynn Eccles breaks. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you heard about that one, huh? Mm -hmm. That was such a funny noise, first of all, but what was that, tea bag? Well, yeah, you heard about that one, huh? <laughs> Wallace, are you still in the attendance office? It's a small favor, teeny. Hey. I was hoping we could have a quick conversation in private. Barely moving. Brian's cool. You can talk freely right in front of him. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that the, you know, the Aaron lantern had some significance. A spurned lover, the perhaps. Aaron lantern Don't want to stir up any muck. Well, there's no muck to stir. Oh, that looks like the most refreshing water in the world. 
Do you guys see that? <laughs> well, there's no much to stir. It'd be so cold, so clear. He's not available. Well, just for a minute, if Sean I is not permitted to receive visitors at home. Mr. Friedrich. You should know, I was told you had the bad taste to fire someone that night. She did not say bad taste. Servers were restricted to the first floor as always, but one server snuck off upstairs to find an available bathroom. Aaron Eccles insisted that the girl be fired. Ugh. Wait, you're saying Aaron Eccles was with another woman the night of the Halloween party? While his wife was downstairs eating canapes. So much for not being permitted to talk. <laughs> that was easy. It's not his fault someone stole the money. Is that so? This is ridiculous. Yeah, I usually get six figures for this. What about <laughs> you? Why would Weevil steal his own money? Yeah. You should really consider another profession. I heard you weren't doing so hot either. Yeah, but the difference is I don't need the money. Right. Apparently, you were caught in flagrante. I'm so scared of this man. Yeah, I'm like, my memory isn't what it used to be either. Listen, that it's didn't key. mean anything. What's it gonna mean? She hired me to protect you, and that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna need your help. This is a guest list from the Casablanca's Halloween party. Circle the name of who you slept with. <laughs> there gonna be more than one. <laughs> who you slept with at the Halloween party. That is... That is... <sighs> But she's not a stalker. She's my agent's wife. I'm sure she's lovely. Mrs. Casablancas gave me photos from the party. Sharon and Deborah. A little bit of Monica. In That's all I can think of. I'm sorry. Things don't always turn out for the worst. After all, it's Christmas. Despite what everyone else might think, Santa knows I've been a good girl. <laughs> Honestly, he's the only one that matters. Nice kiss and make up already. <laughs> I know who stole the money. The bad news is, I know who stole the money. Here's. Do we want to change our guess? How are we feeling? Confidence? I do go back and forth. I would be shocked if it was Weevil. I would be shocked if it was. Logan. It's starting to sink. I was thinking, Dun like, that Duncan was too drunk. But as the flashbacks went on, I was like, well, he was like, not incoherent, but his laptop was stolen. So I feel like it's not Duncan. I still feel like it's one of the other two, the two odd boys out. I don't think it's going to be the movie star because I feel like that would be a weird play on like, you know, he's, he's fine. He's like, I still feel like his tracksuit guy. But then when she, when it was his turn to be interviewed, I was like, he doesn't need the money. But there were so many comments where, like, the first comment he made to, like, Movie Boy about, like, oh, I wasn't paid this much to make out with, you know, and then lots of talk about him, like, being cheap and stuff like that. So I was like, it fits, but he also doesn't need the money. Maybe he's cut off from his parents' supply. Okay, maybe they said, no more Nepo baby for you. You're too much. <laughs> I think I'm sticking with him. Unless I want to rethink Logan for a second. No, I don't think it makes sense. I'm going to stick. Are you guys sticking? Are you changing your answer? <laughs> do you want to stick with your answer or do you want to see what's behind door number three? All right, let's find out. Filled with holiday spirit, Logan will host another game. Oh. I'll just take the place of whoever stole the money. Unless you think you might still want him around. If I get my five grand, some items could magically reappear. It'd be a and Christmas miracle. It, do you even know how to play poker? No. It must be really hard if all you guys play. <laughs> oh, I had a ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. You want a soda pop or something? Soda pop. I think I want something with a little more kick. Hey, no. That's right. Damn, girl. Oh. Hmm. Iced tea? Yeah. How very musical.
musical theater of you. <laughs> no, he didn't play drunk to steal your money. He played drunk to win your money. Oh, and Connor isn't a drug addict. Strategic. I know, the constant bathroom visits. He was going because of the sun tea. It's that diuretic wrestlers down when oh. they need to make weight okay. that actors use before they're half naked on the cover of Vanity Fair. Yeah. <laughs> smells like an evil doer. Surprisingly, not so much. No. We will clear him. When I saw it, it looked like it had been raided by the FBI. It wasn't. If this. Logan took the money and hid it, he wouldn't have had to tear the room apart looking for it. So, Fair. two left. Okay. So, do you want to hear how Sean did it? Yeah. Oh, he knew he couldn't leave with the money. So he didn't. He just waited for the recycling to go out the next day and did a little garbage picking. <laughs> Sean? What was his dad doing at home, three in the afternoon, dressed in a suit instead of being at work? I have to say, I was a bit miffed. I was this close to being able to say the butler did it. <laughs> but no, it was the butler's son. Well, that proves that you're a liar, and the He's background nipple, check I baby. ran on you proves that you've got a bit of a shoplifting problem. Oh. You are really bad at it. <laughs> that is a problem. I can totally pay you. I have the money. I can get it right now. Why don't we take a walk? See, I can pay you. See, you know, there's really no need. He's gonna say, "Don't worry about it." Weevil is his name, by the way. Last time I forgot. It's in there. Take him for all they're worth, Veronica. Love you, peace. What does a Le Trancheur do? Uh, they're carvers, sir. Carving. Can you tell me what she looks like? I can use something to eat. Snack time. There's lots downstairs. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, don't I just blend right in? <laughs> so, Aww. I uh, make up. You know. Yeah. Not seeing you. Will you so. listen to me? This is an emergency. What? Hello, Veronica. Does your head of security make it a habit of taking photographs of high school students and drawing bullseyes over their faces, or am I special? I didn't think we'd touch on this today. Surveillance pictures. He drew a target over my face and sent them to my mother. Why? You're not making any sense. Why? I have no Why idea what you you're talking about. Why did you want my mother about? out of town? I didn't. Why didn't she tell me or my father about the pictures instead of hiding them in a safe deposit box? I don't know! I don't believe you. I don't believe you either. Whoa. It took me a minute to be able to, like, see who that was in that room, and then she just went for it. Holy shit. I was so caught off. I was like, oh, this is just a fun little... Christmas episode and like little mystery that kind of like ties in with both sides like the son and the father and like the cheating oh oh wow okay 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 <laughs> he's gotta look at the shreds now right What's the nine o'clock surprise? Oh my god, I forgot about that. Follow the Santas outside. I have a special surprise for you. What do we think it is? I was like, ooh, fireworks maybe, but I think it's gonna be kind of bad. Oh, you guys, it all looks so magical and fun. Come on, you two, you'll miss the surprise. You don't even care, do you? I'm sorry? Sleep with me. You say you love me. I don't know who this person is, I swear. I don't know you. <laughs> ah! Here we come a wassailing among the leaves so green, fair to be seen. Love and joy. Somebody call an ambulance. You a happy new year. And God send you a happy new year. Same Misty. Christmas and Neptune is, was, and always will be about the trappings, the lights and the tinsel they use to cover up the sordidness, the corruption. No, Veronica, there is no Santa Claus. Stop. Holy crap. Okay, the episodes make sense now. 
the switching of them. Because, like, imagine ending on that <laughs> and then just going, yeah, okay, okay. Wow. I was just, like, I was I was cozy. I was in it. I was like, okay, this is just a cute little, like, Christmas episode. We've got the two similarities between Keith's case and Veronica's case in the same family. And, like, I was like, all right. And then last three minutes, so much happened. First of all, she just confronted Kane the cane man and then Keith saw and Keith he's got to go look at those shreds right or maybe he just like fuck the shreds because maybe he can just piece together like the talk and the kneading of his blood remember how he pricked his finger for that or something but I think he's starting to put it together and then and then we got orange boy's dad getting stabbed which damn hey we were just like a little too late but also i'm not upset about it (laughs) i am still so scared of that man every time he's i'm like you freak me out um okay i feel like that family also fits in to whose house were we at why was the king man in that room i feel like the two families fit into lily's murder well and veronica's family technically oh my god and the, 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 what's his name? Cameron, the maybe Cameron guy. Taking pictures of Veronica. Okay, we've got lots of nuggets. I just don't know how they piece together. But I feel, wow, that was a wild last few minutes. Did not see it coming. Just thought it was going to, like, end. Let's talk about the poker game. Because that was kind of fun. Like a little who done it and then the flashbacks for each person's story and trying to like figure out little things in between so funny about duncan because i was like at first i thought he was really drunk and then they took the drink away and then i was like as the flashbacks went on i was like okay he wasn't as drunk as i thought but i didn't think he was fucking drinking iced tea faking the whole thing so funny by the way good job duncan plus no hangover you know the movie star guy i feel like he's in everything but i can't also pinpoint like what I would have seen him in, but he's in a lot. He's a famous white boy, okay? He's in everything, probably. But I feel like he was in like a teen show or teen movie. Or maybe, I don't know. But anyway, he's familiar. I know him from somewhere. That was fun, just like trying to figure out the who done it and kind of going back and forth and who had motive and who had opportunity. Just kind of fun, okay? Do we think Weevil just was like, hey man, keep the money i like weevil a lot i do okay so i wonder if next episode which would be 12 if we're gonna kind of start off here or like his dad's gonna be in the hospital which good he can have a break from his monster of a dad as time goes on i like that that orange boy logan he he's interesting because it's like i want to hate him but then he's kind of funny sometimes <laughs> and he just has these little moments where you're like there's a good person in there kind of but also a nepo baby and also an asshole you know like he's just a mixture of things but i do feel like we're getting these little sprinkles of moments where it's like okay he's not as bad and so then i kind of feel sorry for him and now that his dad is stabbed i feel sorry for him because obviously that's traumatic but i'm also like hey man you can have some time without your fucking asshole of a dad around. <laughs> Loved all the Christmas stuff. Of course, I did my best to not comment on every single piece of it. I would have, though. And I just got to say, the lighting department or whatever, the lighting crew, I love them. I've talked about the, the, the office shots before with the stained glass and the yellow and the red. And then with all of this stuff, you know, you have different different lights and i thought that logan's room looked really cool in at night and during the day but like at the night scenes when they were playing poker with the like the christmas lights on the one side and then the what's that thing called like a jukebox (laughs) thing on the other side and then i thought that the party looked really cool and then the outside the fake snow was so funny because yeah i like how this show looks all the time and i do like the the flashback filter. 
<sighs> okay, we are trucking along, and I'm just going to say it. We haven't seen Lily in a little bit. But it's like, I, there are small pieces coming together, so I'm not mad about it. I just miss her. <laughs> wow, we have so much. We have so much that have happened the last few episodes, I feel like. Oh, I hope it just clicks for me. Like, I hope there's something that just, like, clicks for me and I can figure out who murdered her before we're told. That's my goal. I do need a board. Like, maybe when I get back home, I should set up a board <laughs> with the details that I know, because sometimes I forget, like, little things, right? Like, there's just, they're, they're giving these little things, so it's like, sometimes I forget them if I don't note them as important, or if they, it's been a while since they've happened, so... Anyway, this is fun. <laughs> All right, well, another good episode, but we will wrap this one up here. Lots to think about, lots to think about before episode 12. But we will wrap this one up here. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>